via Faulty Towers till A Fish Called Wanda. Hans nya film, Otäcka odjur, har premiär i morgon. Välkomna en av världens roligaste män, John Cleese! It's worrying, you know. They like you here. Yeah, they like me so much better than they do in England. Oh, better than in England? Much better than in England. John och jag har hunnit snacka lite grann redan. Han har berättat att de gillar honom bättre här i Sverige än i England. Now that is uh, Swedish for they like you better here than in England. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I just did, made a little quick We're not having any more of that. Um, no, 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 no more. What did you call it? Swedish? Swedish. There won't be any more of that. Have you learned any Swedish during the days? Uh, yes, I learned how to say, hey, willkommen. <laughs> oh, willkommen. Oh, welcome. Okay. Yeah. Hey, welcome. That's good. <laughs> okay. Do you want to teach me anything else? Uh, nothing more. That okay. is quite enough. Uh, this is uh, an American business uh, entertainment magazine called Entertainment Weekly. Uh, I don't know if you've seen it before. This came out two weeks ago, listing the 50 funniest people alive. And uh, the strange thing was, I thought you were going to be the number one. Not in America. No, not in America. Probably, they don't that's know probably me that well. No, this is how really the top don't. five looked like. Uh, number one, Robin Williams. Number two, Jerry Seinfeld. Number three, Roseanne Barr. Jim Carrey. Albert Brooks. They like you. We've talked stuff. about that already, haven't we? <laughs> John Cleese, Compo, number 12. Number 12, that's yeah. not bad. Together with the other Pythons. Ah. ah. So uh -huh. it's sort of like a... Mm -hmm. With that lot? With that lot. <laughs> it's strange. It's funny, because I'm so much better than they are. <laughs> <laughs> we can discuss that later. But I, I would like to, because I'd like to discuss humor with you, yeah. and I would like to know, uh, which one of these five is your favorite? Uh, Robin Williams and uh, uh, Jerry Seinfeld's very funny. Mm -hmm. I like that show a lot. Robin Williams is wonderful, but he's almost best doing his stand-up routines. Okay. Uh, Albert <laughs> Brooks is funny. Do you remember Broadcast News? Yeah, it was a great it. movie, wasn't it? You remember, he's this guy who's very bright, he's a really good journalist, but the only trouble is he sweats when he gets anxious. <laughs> <laughs> this is a picture of Albert Brooks. Maybe we can show it to the people who haven't seen him before. Now, this is his new movie, isn't it? Uh, I think so, too. It, it's a, he's an American uh, uh, actor that we haven't seen very much in Sweden. No, he, does, uh, he doesn't do an enormous amount, I think. He did, a, he did a movie a few years ago that was set in heaven. Mm -hmm. that was quite good. And pr prior to that, he'd done broadcast news. But he's very good. Mm -hmm. Jim Carrey is a brilliant technically, mm -hmm. but I don't find Jim Carrey funny. I kind of watch him, and I think, God, that's clever. Mm -hmm. But when I went to see Dumb and Dumber, yeah. I thought the other guy, Jeff Daniels, was, was much dumber. hysterically funny. Mm -hmm. No, really, mm -hmm. really funny. In fact, I can't remember the last person who made me laugh that much. <laughs> and I, the, the whole cinema was laughing at Jim Carrey, and then I would laugh at Jeff Daniels. It was really strange. Uh, how would you, what would your list look like if you could? Oh, I would have Steve Martin up there. Mm -hmm. He uh, came like 26 or something. Really? Yeah. It's amazing. It's amazing. Yeah. No, I think, I mean, Steve does two things. When Steve writes his own stuff and gets involved in the script, then he's wonderful. Mm -hmm. But when he's just as an actor, then obviously it depends on how good the script is. So the stuff I like best with Steve is when he's involved in, in the scripting of it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, Woody Allen's funny. Yeah, he was up there too. And then there are one or two English people that are just nothing like as well known as these people, but there are two terrific women called Jennifer Saunders oh, yeah. and Dawn French. We love them uh, too. You do? They're French and Saunders. Yeah, they're really good. Why are they applauding? Because they're really good. And also, it's the nicest thing. It's the first time I, in living memory, mm -hmm. and I, as I'm 57, I can say that pre pretty authoritatively. <laughs> that it's the first time that I think those two women are funnier than any of the men. That's good. Yeah, That's it's good. really good. It's the first time it's happened. Helt hysterist in Swedish. Hmm? Hey, welcome. Helt hysterist. Now he does <laughs> I work with humor as well, not as long as you have, but no, I have a few long. theories about that, and yeah. I'm sure you uh, also do. Uh, is there anything that you would say is always works, something that always is funny? No, but what you can say is, and you can even try this with a baby, 
that if you, if you can establish a pattern and then break the pattern, it's usually funny. That's why when people tell you jokes about people coming into bars, it's usually he comes to the bar and he does it the first time. And he comes to the bar and he does it a second time. And he comes in the th and the third time he does something different. Mm -hmm. And if you do something twice, you establish the expectation that the same thing is going to happen the third time. Then when you change it, there's an element of surprise. It's called the rule of three for okay. what that's worth. Okay. Three regeln. Uh, I have another uh, three theory. Regel. Three regeln. Three regeln. <laughs> I have another... Hey, uh, willkommen. <laughs> Helt du steris. Tre regen. Here we go. <laughs> I have my own theory. Or oh, actually, this is a theory that I've uh, borrowed from a, a big boss at the uh, uh, conquering... Uh, Konkurrerande kanal. Kanal ett nöje. They say that these three, these three things are funny. Yeah. Men dressed in women's clothing. Yeah, that's funny. Hats. Hats are funny. And repetition, what you were talking yes, about. Yes, that's very good. So you would agree on that? Hats are funny. They've yeah. based all their Saturday night entertainment for 20 years on those three components. <laughs> I, uh, I... <laughs> that was, uh, that's the competition. Let me ask you this. Have you noticed, you've worked with your humor all around the world. Uh, is it that some jokes that work in Sweden don't work in America at all? I wish I understood it better. But the great thing, the great thing about not just Sweden, but also Denmark and Norway and Holland is I think that your sense of humor is almost exactly the same as the English sense mm -hmm. of humor. That's what they say. That's what they say. That's what we say in England. And my programs are always much better liked in Holland, Sweden, Denmark and, and Norway than they are almost anywhere else, except in the old parts of the world that used to be English colonies, you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, because they're there, that's the same as me, the English Give me an example of something that, you've tr that always works in Europe and then you take it to America and then it didn't work at all. Well, it, you notice it more in, in uh, a dinner table conversation. I mean, I am married to a woman from Oklahoma. Mm -hmm. She says she's from Texas, okay. uh, but that's because people from Oklahoma think that it's sophisticated to be from Texas. That's true. All right. Now, she that has... went straight over my head, I'll tell you. Straight over my head. <laughs> she has almost no sense of irony at all. <laughs> you know, I can talk any nonsense to Alice Faye with a straight face, and she'll believe me. I mean, we were driving once across um, uh, Hyde Park in the car, and I had the kids in the back of the car. Uh, I've got two and she's got two. And I was saying to them, I can get Alice Faye to believe anything. And she was saying, oh, oh no, you can't. No, that's Which not. Which of the... Used to be, but no, you can't. And I said, oh, my God, look at that 22 stone man on a pogo stick. And she said, where, where? <laughs> <laughs> Which of your wives was this? Oh, John Cleese, you had so, so, so many wives. Uh, it was about number... 19, I think. No. no. Uh, three. It was number three. You're on, in yeah, your that's th the one I get on with. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> that's good. Uh, let me try some of our humor on you then. A couple of weeks ago, um, we had something we called the fruit of the week. And that looked like this. Luda Persin. Blood orange, she says. <laughs> Now, is that funny? That's very silly. I like it. Yeah. How about you? Uh, the th thing is th that repetition makes it funny. So please, if you, you just announced, uh, and just let's check one more time All if right. it, what's the fruit of the week. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, the fruit of the week. Luda Pelsin. There you go. It's still broad orange. That's funny. Isn't That's it funny. funny? I like yeah? I remember when I first got to America, I discovered there was a club there and it was called the Cheese of the Month Club. Mm. <laughs> Don't you love that? Yeah. And I found, when I was in uh, Wisconsin three weeks ago, I have to tell you this on the subject of cheese, there was a big store <laughs> in cheese. Wisconsin, and it was the name of the store, and then it said, Cheese and Fireworks. <laughs> That's good. And I could imagine all these people from Wisconsin going in and saying, um, a pound of Emmental and two Roman candles. <laughs> Before you leave, I have to play the angry game with you. It's a game where I... Oh, why? I don't want to be angry. I can't think of anything that's bloody pointless. What a stupid idea. That is really dumb and I do not want to do it. Every person that comes on the show plays the angry game okay. with me. Okay, okay, fine. <laughs> You have to look at these other faces. The first one that laughs, laughs, loses. Do you understand this? Mm -hmm. Have you played this before? No. Okay, the angry game starts now.
<laughs> We're having trouble here. <laughs> Want to call it a draw, this? <laughs> You've turned into one of those animals that don't... <laughs> this is John Cleese. Thank you for coming on the show. John Cleese.